Hi friends, it's Miss Lonnie from the Columbus Public Library and I'm so excited to share with you one of my most favorite children's Valentine's Day picture books. A Crankenstein Valentine. Does he look happy? No, I don't think he likes Valentine's Day. Let's read it and find out. Have you seen my little sweetheart, Crankenstein? You can't miss Crankenstein on Valentine's Day. You would say, Happy Valentine's Day, my love. And Crankenstein would say, Yeah. Can you make that sound? Yeah. Ugh. That means, ugh, gross. I don't like it. Get it away from me. You would say, Look who's got brand new heart undies. And Crankenstein would say, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun sound to make, even if it doesn't mean nice things. You would say, don't forget to bring roses for all of your teachers. And Crankenstein would say, yeah. <laughs> you might see Crankenstein getting a big red smooch on the school bus. And he would say, yeah. It's so silly. Or eating a heart-shaped peanut butter and jelly sandwich and heart-shaped apple slices and using a heart-shaped napkin covered in hearts. And Crankenstein says, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't like it. Wait a minute. It's another green person. Let's call her Crankenstein girl. And she's eating a heart-shaped sandwich and she's saying, yeah. You may even find Frankenstein making his own kind of Frankenstein Valentine. And it says, roses are red, violets are blue. Valentine's Day stinks. Seriously, P.U. And do you see Frankenstein girl in the background scribbling away? She's probably making a cranky Valentine's Day card too. You could certainly find him biting into a chocolate with surprise hairy coconut inside. Yeah. Ugh. Frankenstein does not like that kind of chocolate. Or helping to make the mushy gushy Valentine's Day garland. Frankenstein does not appreciate helping to make the mushy gushy Valentine's Day garland. He is so unhappy. And you're guaranteed to find Frankenstein in the Valentine's Day school pageant. Frankenstein never said he wanted to be in the Valentine's Day school pageant. But here he is. He's being a party pooper. <laughs> nope, there's absolutely no way, no doubt, not now, not ever, that Crankenstein wants anything to do with Valentine's Day. He's had enough. He's ripping off his costume. He looks like a baby Hulk. Oh, wait, look, it's Crankenstein girl, and she's looked like she's ripped off her costume as well. He doesn't want anything to do with Valentine's Day, except maybe one thing. He's looking at her, she's looking cranky. He wants a best friend. And look, she gave him a cupcake with a heart on it that's so sweet. Uh-oh, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to eat them not make a mess. It even says, do not touch. But he wanted a best friend who understands exactly how he feels. And look, he even made a Valentine's Day card for her and it reads, roses are red, violets are blue. On Valentine's Day, I feel just like you. Ew. <laughs> and they're not green anymore. Look, they're normal. They're laughing, they're happy, they're smiling. And now Crankenstein is sleeping peacefully in his bed because he can hardly wait the 364 days until the next Valentine's Day. The end. All right, boys and girls, did you enjoy that book as much as I did? Or did it make you go, yeah. <laughs> Crankenstein sure was cranky until he found a best friend 
who felt exactly how he did about Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> if you did enjoy that book, then you have to check out the original Frankenstein book by Samantha Berger. And this book is also available within the Chattahoochee Valley Library system. And since it's Valentine's, you have to make a special Valentine's Day card for someone special in your life. It can be happy, it can be silly, it can even be cranky, as long as it's made with love. Well, that's all that I have time for today. I can't wait to read another book to you. I'll see you next time. Bye. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten. 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.